welcome to another episode of Jeff and Joe's Puerto Rican Kitchen. We are in Puerto Rico and we are nowhere else but Los Kioscos de Piñones where we're going to be taking you around trying some amazing Puerto Rican food. It's right by the beach. It's an amazing day today. So let's go have some fun. No trip to Puerto Rico is complete without a stop in Piñones, located in the town of Loiza. This spot is fried food central. And as we have said before, we Puerto Ricans love fried food. Here, people have been making homemade fritters for generations. You can also hear the sizzling noise of meats grow outdoors and smell the smoke from the open fire pit that fills your lungs. But the one sight that makes this place so special is the endless rows of glass cases filled with large varieties of fried food. Yes, lots of fried food. I was so excited to get this adventure started that I ran out of the car. But I also ran because there's no crossroad and I only found a parking spot on the opposite side of the road. Anyways, I could not wait to get my hands into a few of those delicious frituras. But before we got a bite, we took some time to meet some wonderful people that were visiting the island. So we asked them what they had tried out so far and the list was pretty extensive. My family's from here. Yay. Where are you guys from? from? Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Philadelphia. Everyone's from Philly? She's from oh, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Florida. Where is Florida? Davy and Sarasota. There we go. <laughs> and we have Sorullito. Sorullito. And a fresh okay. coconut. I'm sorry. After attending to our fans, I was so ready to get something to drink. So I'm starting today with a fresh mango milkshake, which is delicious. It's very interesting. She actually put cinnamon and vanilla flavor in it. I've never had that. I'm a big fan now. So let's keep eating. Okay, now I can tell my mom that I had some fruit today. Super healthy. But who am I kidding? Let's dig into the real stuff. Like a pastel, it's kind of like a pastel dough and then you fry it and then it's filled with 
filled with beef. Um, beef. Really good too. That was a great start, and I'm already pretty full. You can't come here and just go to one place. Half of the fun is trying different places and choosing your favorite things from each of them. So let's see what this one has to offer. Okay, I had to do a little bit of research here. This leaf comes from a tree that is actually known as Indian rubber tree, as it was once an important source of natural rubber. You learn something new every day. I was also super curious as to what was in the dough, so we had to ask him. Hmm, sounds very similar to the dough that we use for our pasteles recipe. If you haven't, you should check it out. Yes, a day was that? A day? On a busy weekend, yeah. On a busy weekend, he'd make a thousand alcapurias. So we got one because we want to try it. Uh, then we also got a soluito. You might recognize these from our channel. Um, these ones are a little bit thicker and I think will taste different. And then we got a taco. Not to be confused with a pastelillo or an paradilla. Uh, we're not really sure why. He said that. It's just the, the shape. The shape is different and that the dough had some yellow coloring, probably some type of annatto oil. But let's try it. All right, so first the alcapulia. Uh, we tried it before, but again, this guy made it fresh, so it's nice and hot. Oh. Way fluffier. A lot fluffier than the other one. Very yummy, and he said it was a mix of yuca, yautia, and green bananas. So that sounds a lot like a pastel, and that's kind of what it is. It's just a fried pastel with um, a beef filling. So good. I'll come back to eat some more later, but onto the sorrito. So it's filled with cheese. Very sweet. So we also talked about this in our Sorunito video that sometimes they make them sweet, um, and so this is definitely a sweeter one. Um, it's not as crispy. A little dense. Let's try the taco next. Again, so this is a taco. Um, it's basically an empanadilla, but in a different type of shape. Uh, and also filled with beef. Very yummy. A little less crisp than the other ones, but very tasty all throughout. So I'm gonna finish eating these and um, you guys can watch and be jealous. Well, I gave Jeff a little chance to try out some of the food, but I'm taking this one back for our third and final stop of the day. Okay, well, we keep enjoying our food tour today, and now we have a chicken pincho, which is chicken skewer with a lot of Puerto Rican flavor. Um, usually they add a little bit of barbecue sauce, which you can see this one.
Wow, what a great day this was. We had so much fun trying out so much food. Thank you to all the vendors out there that put up with our large camera and lots of questions. Puerto Rico, we miss you already. We will be back soon.